First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankoski. Good morning. It's not 70 degrees out there anymore, but a little dose of reality has set in. It looks like a blend of sunshine and clouds for this Sunday. Hey, the final Sunday of February. That means the Daytona 500 is later, but uh, view over Burlington shows some breaks of blue. I think we'll see increasing breaks of blue as we go through the day. The temperature at Burlington International is 31 degrees. The wind is blowing out of the west at 18 miles per hour, so it only feels like 19. And the wind can gust up to 30 miles per hour this morning, though the wind will settle down later. So the rain combined with the snow melt has generated some flooding concerns. Each little green area you see on the map is a flood warning for specific rivers. The rivers are listed on the left side of your screen. Two rivers are in moderate flooding, the Lamoille River at Jeffersonville and the Pesumsic River at Pesumsic. But the good news with all of these flood warnings is that the flooding is expected to recede and not be an issue by the end of today. So it's not a multi-day concern, and that is some good news. Now, Storm Tracker is lit up with snow showers. The lakes remain unfrozen even late in February. That is kind of crazy. And so with this surge of cold air, we have a lot of lake effect snow. Now for us, I think the coverage of the snow showers will diminish as the day wears on. 21 right now in Saranac Lake, 31 in Burlington, 33 in Lebanon, and 31 in Springfield. So watch the wind diminish. It's out of the west and northwest, but it really is not a factor by dinner time tonight. So yes, it feels colder than the actual air temperature now, but that will be less of a factor later on. Future cast shows a good amount of sunshine this afternoon, so enjoy it. Yeah, it's colder than it was yesterday, but that can't last forever this time of year. And then going into tomorrow, another nice day with sunshine and clouds. By Tuesday, the clouds increase and take a look. There could be a couple of mixed showers moving through the region. Not a major player by any means. The call for this day shows sunshine and clouds, a few snowflakes, less windy later on. The high of 37 in Burlington is still above average, wouldn't you know? And look at this. 47 tomorrow, 49 Tuesday, 52 on Wednesday. This is crazy stuff. So March starts on the mild side by a large degree, but some signs of our first below average air mass in quite some time by the end of this week. We'll keep an eye on it. It looks nice though today and tomorrow. A few mixed showers on Tuesday, rain showers on Wednesday with a high of 52, and then a chance for showers continues on Thursday. It does look dry at the end of the week, but cold temperatures not getting out of the 20s. Make the most of this final Sunday of February. Keel, over to you.